If you've ever tried to surf the web at school or a place of business, then you've probably witnessed the frustration of blocked websites. One way to get around blocked websites is to use a proxy, and while there are many different proxy programs available, most schools and businesses have already blocked those as well. So in this video I'm going to show you two ways to create your own custom proxy server that should get your web surfing back to normal. The two methods we'll be using are based on existing projects. One which uses Google Apps and is based on the Mirror project, and the other which uses PHP and is based on the PHProxy project. We'll start with the PHProxy method first since it's simpler. What you'll need to do is download PHProxy, which you can find here, and get the zip file, but don't worry about unzipping it yet. The next step is to get a free web hosting account that supports PHP. And while there are several free alternatives out there, the one I'll be using is 000webhost.com. Just sign up for a free account, and once it's verified, log into the control panel and click File Manager. Click on the public HTML folder and then click Upload. Now under the Archive section, click Upload again and browse to the PHProxy zip file that you downloaded. Then click the green check mark and that's it. Now if you go to your website's address, you should now see a new proxy page. Just type in a web address, adjust the different settings, and click Go. Now I'm going to show you the Google Apps method, which is a little bit more difficult, but just as effective. First download Python 2.6, which you can find at this website. This is the platform that the Google Apps Engine needs to run. And then once you have it installed, download the Google Apps Engine, which you can find here. Since we'll be using Python, be sure to download the appropriate engine for it. After you have it downloaded and installed, go ahead and launch it. And the last thing that you'll need to get is the Python proxy script, which you can download here. When that's through downloading, just extract it to your desktop. Now go to appengine.google.com and sign in using your Gmail username and password. Create a new application and name it whatever you want, then give it a title and click Save. Now go back to the App Engine and go to File, Add Existing Application. Then browse to the file that we unzipped to our desktop and click Add. Then click Edit and change the application name from your app ID to the name that you created for your application. Now click Deploy, enter in your Gmail address and password and click OK. You should now be able to go to your application name.appspot.com and your proxy server should appear. Now all you have to do is type in a website and click go. Now while these methods work for most blocked sites, it may not work for everyone. So if you have any more suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Be sure to check out Tinkernut.com on Facebook and Twitter. Alright, that's it for this tutorial. For more, go to Tinkernut.com.